Last time on XCOM 2. Um... She's stuck here. She can't move. Is she even in cover? Oh my god. If she's not in cover, I'm gonna lose my mind. Hey guys, right in here, and welcome back to XCOM 2. So, last episode, we... Basically... Stopped an event that could have ended the campaign again. Sadly, this means extra enemies will be added to every mission, but that's honestly not the end of the world. So, um, we already have someone training. We have engineers where we need engineers. Actually, I think we have one that's unstaffed. No, we don't. Never mind. Once we get the proving ground up and running, we can actually get a skull jack, which will help us continue the story. In the meantime, we can actually scan here for intel. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it, but... Avenger plotting new I don't know if the UFO stopped following us completely or if it just disappeared for a little bit. I hope we can make it through eight days. That would make me happy. There's a UFO. Strategic resource located. 58 intel. That's a good amount. So now we have enough intel to make contact. But how long until the supply drop? Um, hmm. We could try to increase this radio relay first before the supply drop hits. And hope that the UFO goes away. Because I don't know if the UFO is faster than us. But if it is, it's going to catch up to us before we can get back to anywhere. Or even get over to here. So, let's do this and see if we can get the radio relay installed before the supplies drop. Setting course for sector 16, Indonesia. It's actually going the other way. Yep, more enemies. Training completed, so now we do have a specialist. Meaning, we can start training someone else. So, let's see what we're lacking here. <sighs> Tons of rangers. A grenadier might not be bad. We only have two. I'll make another grenadier. We have eight soldiers available. Thyra, prepare to be another Grenadier. Three days till the Proving Ground. I don't think we're going to last that long. We're lucky enough to last this long, but... Dork event complete. Recruitments. One. The Proving Ground is yeah. commander. We can build the Skulljack whenever you give the word. So this is the Proving Ground. We can get a lot of things from here. I don't know if they take time or not, Welcome though. Welcome to the Proving Grounds, Commander. It seemed like a good idea to isolate some of our more experimental concepts, especially when it comes to weapons development. So we can get a plasma grenade in 15 days, which I'm going to take priority over the Skulljack, because plasma grenades are awesome. I'll let the team get started immediately, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as we've made progress. I know I'm using a lot of supplies here, but we're about to get a supply drop anyway. And I'm going to... Oh, Benjamin King was put here. Perfect. So now they'll only take eight days. We won't have them by the next mission, but... That's fine. Plated armor in three days, but I doubt we'll make it. I have made a number of Plated armor. discoveries, Commander. So we can now research the Predator armor, the Exosuit, and the Spider Suit. I don't know what any of those are. Look at all these autop... Look at all these instant autopsies we can do. Let's do the mech breakdown. These robotic units developed by Advent seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. 
Advent has legions of these mechanized units out there helping to keep the peace. As far as I can tell, they're fully automated and armed to the teeth. So we can now get the Gremlin Mark II, and we can now get the Proving Ground Project Blue Screen Protocol, which I believe are... What are they? I think they're bullets that hurt robots. So that's an upgrade we have to buy. With a number of mechanized units, Advent is available to throw at us. Developing munitions capable of disabling them should be one of our higher priorities. Awesome. Okay, well we have a lot of other instant researches too. Knowing like for the trooper. My past surgical experience is limited. I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen Advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated, the common Advent trooper is seemingly human. The aliens have disguised this most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. Carefully? I love how I Despite bet the aliens like... Analysis, I have yet to discover what, if any, advantage the Advent hybrid soldiers' enormous eyes provide. Testing their visual acuity will no doubt prove difficult. So now we can buy a battle scanner which allows us to see uh, enemies before we actually fight them or see things like hidden faceless. And lastly, I kind of find it funny that they're like, these helmets are carefully designed to hide their faces. It looks more like the aliens like mutated a bunch of guys and then like they sat there for a second like, oh no, they don't look right at all. It's like, what do you mean, Bob? They look perfect. They look fine. It's like, this is not fine. They don't look anything like Although a human. Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic material, I must admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing as readily apparent as this. But Tygen, why do they have boobs, though? I find it unusual to say the least. So we can now get battlefield the medicine. So often referred to in the past as the Thin Man, has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this wholly reptilian creature. So we can now get battlefield medicine, which is another proving ground project, which I think makes better medicine. Oh, let's assign research. Instantly, I want Gauss weapons. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. We're I'll not going to get them, when I have but a full report do I have to buy plated armor or do we just get plated armor? I really hope it's we just get plated armor. <sighs> I have to buy it. Shit. Um, I don't think I have enough, orders, probably. Commander? Wait, what? I need 300 supplies. I can get that if we go to the, like the black market days. real quick. Always on edge, ready for a fight on a moment. I want to finish the relay for the supply drop, if possible. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Trust me, they will, sir. So, this adds a block onto the Avatar project. This stifles the movement of resistance resources, decreasing the supplies of the next supply drop by 50%. That's not... That's actually can be really... Annoying. And this one, I don't know yet. We can reveal it any time. So we got supplies. Signal's coming through clear. Yes. So we now get more income here. Sadly, we got it afterwards, but what can you do? Avenger plotting new course. So next thing I want to do is actually sell a bunch of stuff and try to get enough supplies so we can get the uh, predator armor. We can buy a bunch of supplies for only 50 intel, so I'm going to do that very first thing. And now we're going to sell things. They really want Illyrium cores for 32. Wow. I don't want to sell too many because they're pretty essential. I don't want to sell muton corpses. The rest of the stuff we have a ton of. Look at all these alien alloys we have. I bet we could sell quite a few. We have a lot. Um, 
Lyrium crystals, you can sell 35 worth. You can sell a few stun lancer corpses. Confirm. So that's 443 supplies, which means we can now buy the predator armor. What can I do for you, Commander? The aptly named predator armor should give our soldiers increased longevity in the field. So now everyone has predator armor. Big upgrade. Next upgrade we're going for is Gaussian weapons. We could also just buy the Gremlin Mark II. Gremlin Mark II is an improved version of the standard Gremlin drone. Not only will it greatly increase the hacking stat of our specialists, but many specialist abilities improve their effectiveness when the Gremlin becomes more advanced. Yeah, let's go for it. It's only 60. Okay. Um, so now everyone has Predator armor. There's only two people injured. Who's ready? Almost everyone. We're, like, we're one promotion away from any of these guys from having a, uh, six-man squad. Should be amazing. Do we have an engineer that's not doing anything? No, but our resistance comms are at capacity right now. Until I move an engineer in there. So, I guess I want to pick up that supply drop next thing, if possible. And then we're going to go contact the next region. But I doubt we're going to have time to do any of that, because we're about to run into a mission. Avenger plotting new no course. doubt. So... <gasps> Wait, is Argo Phillips a person? Operation Secret Snake. It's extract VIP from Advent City. Is Argo Phillips someone we used to know before? Setting course for Sector 1, the Arctic. Uh, okay, it didn't intercept us. <laughs> I don't think it actively goes for you, but it just flies around, and if you run into it, you're screwed. Oh, the Predator armor by default comes with a second slot. Ah, shiny. Wait, so what? what is this for? I guess it's for, like, anything else I want to build. Okay, but I want to have a Grenadier. I do not want to have a Squatty on us right now. Uh, I just want- I just kind of want to bring our A-team, honestly. <sighs> Kale, I know you're good, I know, but... You've kind of fallen off at this point. So let's take Chance. And... Mercy. Okay, no, that's way too... <laughs> that's way too many rangers. Mercy, not right now. Let's take our specialist, because I want to train him. Once we get Gaussian weapons, we're going to start training the rest of our group. Wait, who is this? He's only a squatty. What's your ability? Oh, that's right, he doesn't have one yet. Okay, never mind. We almost have plasma grenades too, so we're just one step away from the very last thing. Wait, what? Max one grenade per soldier. I thought your thing, or does it give you two of each? I don't know how that works. Okay, I better put some attachments on our guns here, though. I'm not really a fan of having so many rangers, but once again, magnetic weapon is pretty necessary. Who's the lowest rank here? You are, Doctor. So what weapon upgrades do we have? We have a superior scope that increases aim by 15%. I feel like I might want to give that to a sniper instead. But I'll give you the autoloader. Which gives you a free reload. 
Okay. Let's do this. I actually want to check the build item section just for a second. So we could build a Mimic Beacon, but I don't think there's going to be Faceless on this mission. Or not a Mimic Beacon, I mean a Battle Scanner. That allows us to scan ahead. You know what? We'll go ahead and get one. Why not? We could build a Nanoscale Vest, too. I'm not sure how we could fit that in or if that even fits on. But right now, it's not really useful. Oh, I see. So I can give you a battle scanner? Okay. Um, so you still have a third slot, but it can't be for grenades. Or how does this work? So I thought your grenade slot gets duplicated. How does this work? I'm sorry, I'm a little confused by Soleil's new perk. I have to reread it. Heavy Ordnance. The grenade in your grenade-only slot gains a bonus use. Oh, so you can just use the grenade twice. Oh, I get it. So hold on. This makes me want to put the utility item as a flashbang then. Got it. Alright. Let's go. Look at our team. They're all decked out. I don't know how much help this adds. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. So this is an extract the VIP the mission, the though, so we're gonna have to be really careful. From the spokesman, the resistance has a VIP operating out of this area in need of immediate extraction. Advent forces are on alert nearby. Be prepared to engage and eliminate any hostile contacts. Secure the area and escort the VIP to safety. I can't wait. We're so close to Gaussian weapons. Then just think of what we can do with some of our soldiers. Slail's gonna destroy things. I mean, she is already, but she'll destroy them even more, especially with the plasma grenades incoming. Which I think plasma grenades go to everyone. Like, they're a universal squad upgrade, not just one person. Menace 1 5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. So we start with the VIP. Oh my god, it is him. It's the guy who team killed. <laughs> On the move. We have two battle scanners. I want to move you up very far, actually. Moving out. I've got enemy movement here. Okay, so we have a muton and another guy over there. So we'll just have to keep everyone behind her. And we should be fine. Because we couldn't even see them until we walked up there, so... Best we move to places like okay. right here. Right here. Moving to designated coordinates. And we overwatch. We only have 12 turns, but that's more than enough if we're careful. Hunker down, buddy. Not buddy. Oh, he's leaving. Okay, then. This is supposed to be a difficult mission, so I can't imagine there's a lack of enemies here. I could get Slail up onto this roof, but we'll see. Heading out. I guess we're going to go this way. Man, that's such a distance. Well, we can't see them right now, so as long as we dodge left, we should be fine. Running. Binda bai. Ma certo. Ho 
On the move. Roger, I've got my eyes on the coming Oh, they're coming back, though. Can they see us? No, they can't. Only our hidden unit can see them. That's awesome. Um. Well. Moving to designated coordinates. The fact that we haven't seen anyone else is really worrying. Because we're almost to the rooftop now. That's affirmative. Baby steps once again. Heading to that location. On los gates. Wait, that's spotted? What? Okay. Well, I didn't like that happening at all, but... We can... I might trigger run and gun just to take care of this guy for guaranteed damage. Oh, wait a second. We won't be able to scout anymore, but that's okay. Deflection. They've got eyes on me. Who hasn't moved? You haven't. But still, I need to save this grenade for taking out this guy. Okay, let's see. Keese, if I put you in his face, can you get the kill? Is the question. Moving to fire position. On my way. I don't know why you took that convoluted path, but okay. Dead. That critical, uh, the red dot sight is really what good. Did you expect? Anyways, let's launch a frag over here. Once again, don't know what you said, but that's fine. Sorry, civilians. You're of no consequence to us, apparently. How is our accuracy so bad? He's right in the open. Oh, they have a default plus 10 defense buff. Well, someone's gonna get flanked, so. Nice! That was only luck that we got that, but. I'll take That's it. That's right. I'm spotted. Okay, now you move up with everyone else. Stay close. I wouldn't be surprised if we run into something this turn. Or not. Okay, um... Not a problem. Nothing. Moving to position. Nothing. Begebe mich zur Zielposition. Nothing. Not Nothing. Problem. Nothing. Nothing. Get everyone overwatch. We still have lots of time. No need to rush. We could throw out a battle scanner. Like way out here. Or we could throw it out here. Out here seems more ominous. Oh, look what we found. So we could probably avoid that. By going this way. Be 
Bin unterwegs. Coming up. If we go this way and then take this ramp up, I think we'll be okay. Sure thing. Absolutely. Got it covered. On the move. Sorry if I'm kind of ducking out of the microphone, too. There's someone also over there. Hopefully not getting too close to us. So can we still see these guys? Yep. Once they're targeted, we can see them for as long as we want. Absolutely. Didn't see anyone. Okay. Heading out. All right. Roger. Okay. Okay. No more moving. On Overwatch. Movement here. How do we even see them? It doesn't really matter how we saw them, but the fact that we even saw them in the first yeah, place is the weird it. part. Um, well, this is okay. Nice, but dodge grazed. We can make them fall through that goddamn floor. Another pod, right? Two sectoids right behind them. Okay, so we do have to be careful here. We do have some people who are still here kind of downstairs. Who don't have vision of the situation at all. Hmm. So how are we going to do this? We could try to go upstairs and just ignore them. I don't know if they'd know if we're up here or not. Or we could try and take them out, which is probably a whole lot safer. But for some reason, I don't feel like they're going to follow us up here. It's best to just try and take them out. Hmm. Once again, grenade would be fantastic because we could launch them through the floor. But at the same time, we could do a triple blind. Possibly blinding even the sectoid back there too. But then again, that also forces them to shoot at us, but I think that's by far the safest option. So, um... Uh-oh. The angles here aren't good. There we go. Kind of. The flashbang seems more plausible right now. Plus, Saleel is now blocking the ladder, so. Hit three of them, all three. We have to be careful about moving this way, though, because there is the group with the commander. Wait, how are we flanked from here? Oh, the sectoid over there. That's why. Grenade? Grenade could launch them through the floor. I kind of like that. Here, Let's go catch. for it. We don't have some very good hit chances, so... Now they're stuck a floor lower than us. The sectoid's a pain, though. <laughs> he is causing a lot of our cover plans to be... 
very poor ideas. Apparently there's a hack we can do. And with the new gremlins, we should be able to hack a bit more easily, but we also have to remember that this guy is a squatty, so regardless of how high the hack chances went, it's not even for a buff, it's just for supplies. So they can't spit acid on us now. That's the good part. But because of that, we have to make sure everyone's in full cover. I don't know why you're pretending to hold a gun. Hmm. Really debating what I want to do here. Because there's not really a full cover spot unless we stay downstairs, which I don't want to do. Because we're those guys. We had them marked. And now they're not. I'm scared that if I move through here... Oh, well, let's go for it. It's actually a lot safer than going upstairs. <laughs> All those guys just leave. They're like, nope. Wait, how can we not hit the one that's like right next to us? Whatever, I'll take this. Dodge grazed again. Good. Just a little off. Oh well, their movement's also limited, so. What can you see? 50% chance to hit that one. Sadly, there's no full cover we can really get behind. What about a grenade? Can we do any good with a grenade? No, we can't. I don't really have a place to put you. So. Well, actually, hold on. This may be a stretch, but... Nope, that's not happening. Overwatch for you, then. As for you, just... I'd like to tell you to get up on the roof, but I don't think that's happening. And as for you, get over here. Try it, why not? Crit. Down. What did you expect? So I'm a little scared of the sectoids only for the reason of they don't have any bodies to bring back, so I don't know what they're going to do. Unless they can bring back civilian bodies, but we're all in full cover. Chances are our sectoids are going to try to panic us. Overwatch, we could get a grenade in there easily. Anyone feel like our squad suddenly turned into a bunch of elites after getting Predator high. armor? <laughs> I don't know what that weird dab was he just did before he jumped down. It must be an ancient sectoid tradition. Please, miss. Get me out of here! A panic. Don't move, just shoot. What are you doing? Keys? You're in full cover. That's good. That could have been worse. I can't move. So good thing those soldiers didn't walk around the corner. So we still know what we're dealing with right now. So we get a free kill here on the Viper. Overwatch removed. Neutralized. I'm running low on ammo. Um. Soleil, what can you see right now? I want you to blow up this sectoid, actually. But I kind of want to move you first. We need to start getting towards the roof. We're getting close to the roof, I should say. Um, yeah, let's blow this one up. Catch. Dead. That's not a bad shot chance, but that won't prevent the sectoid from coming towards us. 
There's also this sectoid all the way over here, but I don't really know where he went. He just kind of dabbed and ran away. Boom! So no walkway for them now. At all. Do I have anyone left who can do anything? You can. The game's lagging right now because there's so much debris. Oh, that sucks. Oh well, we're generally pretty safe right now. Overwatch, huh? I don't know how he achieved that, but okay. I really don't know how he got that. Well, that's our first actual injury all mission, and it didn't kill us. If we didn't have the Predator armor, I think that would have normally killed us. Um, so we also have to figure out how we are gonna remove his overwatch if we even want to. Because most of us can evade it. But some of us can't. That overwatch sectoid is a problem. But you know what? I'm gonna have Soleil move and bite the bullet on this one. Or never mind. He couldn't even see her in the first place. As much as I want someone to run over there and just gun him down, I don't like that strategy. Rolling out. There's a few of us who can't move, though. Medkit heal. You'll be fine. Um, I don't know where the rest of those troopers went, so... They're not there. Argo, I do not want you getting shot here. 30% chance to hit the sectoid. We can't get a grenade on him. Might as well take the shot since we're not moving. Am Ziel vorbeigeschossen. Negativ, Waffe ist leer. Oh, we ran into them finally. Time to run up to the rooftops. <laughs> Verdammt, brauche Deckung. What is he doing? Another Overwatch, really? Ugh, oh, Sectoid, you're such an asshole. <laughs> sure thing. We can't see him. That sucks. We don't have any more grenades. We're just gonna have to risk it with you. Three damage, not too bad. Everyone up to the rooftop now. I want us in spots where they can't see us, but... Double time. I don't want us too close together, also. Affirmative. Oh no. So I'll just extract. If they can't see us up here, they probably won't do anything. 
is my thought process. I hate grouping people together, but that officer's so far away and he's the only one who can grenade us anyways. Just seeing that viper fly through the window is kind of funny. Don't mind control. Who are you guys? Well, that's not the worst, but now she can't run all the way to the point. They're climbing up here to get us, but... Uh-oh. How? I need the magic. That is BS. I'm doing Through the something. floor. I don't want to lose Sky, but I don't want to lose anyone else either. Do you still have run and gun keys? Yes, you do. Oh my god. We just have to hope. That's all I can think to do, is hope. Most of us can get over there. Please tell me you can. Everyone can get out. Except for you. Running. Sky, I'm sorry, but we may have to leave you behind. I hate the thought of it. I would never want to do this to anyone ever again. But it's the only way. I'm gone. And Disorient can last two turns, so... Sorry, Sky. I'm out of here. Really sorry. Someone on the VIP VIP Honestly, this isn't too bad of a mission. If I move here, though, there's a chance no one will be able to see us. Because it's really far away from this guy who's completely in the dark. I just don't know, though. There's no spot that's like, Oh! This is perfect for us! We're safe here. I'd almost prefer she just get captured if possible. And if I move up here, we're gonna see that viper down there. Copy that! They're trying to flank us! That overwatch... Oh, you're gonna get killed by that viper. Or bound. Ah! Hold on. If she's bound, she can survive. Because bound only does two damage per turn. It'll just immediately skip our turn. That's a capture, not a kill. Can they really? I'm all right. Uh oh, that's just as bad. That's really bad though. Because now they can go and kill her. I have never known that they will shoot at someone bound by a viper before. Sorry. I tried. I really did. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. <sighs> that could have gone a lot worse, but 
like, she got so unlucky getting shot through the floor by a sectoid. Like, she purely almost died because of line of sight. But I wasn't going to have everyone else die so one person could live. Could have gone worse. Could have gone worse. We'll miss you, Sky. You did well. That wasn't too bad, though, I have to say. I don't like losing soldiers, I really don't, but... I thought she was gonna be safe, I was so certain of it, I'm like, there's no way they're gonna shoot at their own Viper. And then they do, and the Viper falls through the floor. <laughs> and she dies because of it. So, I thought maybe I could save her, but I couldn't. Anyways... Our one death aside. There's plenty more lives willing to avenge her. Oh my goodness, Alexander, you're out forever. Um, no one got a promotion. Probably because they're all so high ranked that unless they got like a billion kills, they're not going to get promoted. Good, we got Argo Phillips back. Hello, Yay. We lost a ranger to get a ranger. <laughs> 105 intel. Well... That could have gone a lot worse. And we're about to get a bunch of upgrades all at once between plasma, Gaussian weapons, and um, a lot more possible foundry product or projects. Like for example, we need to get the Skulljack soon because we need Skulljack and Officer. There's also the Exosuit and the Spider Suit. I don't know what these are. Experimental Grenades, which apparently will unlock more grenades for us. Experimental ammo, which would be fantastic for Kale. Um, blue screen protocol, which would help with robots. So the thing about the spider suit and the exosuit is I think they're utility items. So like the spider suit, spotty records from the ruined mainframe of, at XCOM HQ indicate an early prototype for the light armor suit coupled with a grappling hook never came to fruition. A recent mastery of the alien's materials may allow us to revive the concept. So this is an item that allowed you in XCOM 1... I'm just going to start calling Enemy Unknown XCOM 1, okay? In XCOM 1, it allowed you to grapple hook to the top of roofs. And uh, it was fantastic on snipers. But I think these are like you build one of them, and then that's it. It's not like it goes on your whole squad. And then we also have the Exosuit, which I'm not familiar with this one. If we combine the power-assisted armor prototypes we've been working on with some of the admin plating we've recovered, we could develop a heavy variant of our plated armor. More importantly, we might be able to add a heavy weapon mount directly to the armor, combining significant defensive and offensive capabilities in a single suit. So, that sounds pretty cool too. But right now, we're researching the plasma grenade, which is going to take three days. So in total, we still have 9, 10, 11, 12 soldiers. Probably going to want more at some point, but we're just going to be careful with what we have. Um, yeah. So if you guys like the video, please leave a like. It helps out a lot. And we'll see you next time. Right Most now.